But now it's time to play a game that is actually good. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, a game that I can actually play. <laughs> and that one that's just... Maybe it's just like my brain is completely fucked up, but it's like, I don't know. To me, like, football games are just... They're just unplayable. It's like I can't play them. And then it's like... But yeah. We're done with that game. Let's never speak of it again. But now it's time for Metal Gear Solid. And yeah, but I'm gonna, yo, I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna play for the whole demo, but I'm gonna skip all the cutscenes because I don't wanna get content ID on my video because that's really annoying. So let's just skip all this, skip, 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 because I, I don't wanna get content ID on this. I mean, what, I mean, why the hell would you get content ID for a game cutscene? Doesn't make any sense. Stupid. <laughs> I don't know, like how warped there. That was weird. And I want to get myself the brush in, okay, and equip that. So you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna just, uh, I think I might just strangle on these guys just to make it a bit easier. I know this guy on the right. Is he going after the? Is he going after in there? I'm not sure. But I'm gonna wait for this guy to move out of the way, and then, then I'm probably just gonna choke him or snap his neck or whatever. Cause I think the I think they move in like the same pattern every single time, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, what the, oh, okay, I pressed it wrong. Okay, well, let's have guys to get it. <laughs> Can't get me. I'm the speedy hamburger. Well, this is already going well. Usually, I don't get spotted when I do that, but whatever. Yo, I'm just gonna choke the other guy just cause, just cause he shot me. Oh, stupid phone. Do you always hate it when twats phone you and then hang up immediately? It's really stupid. Oh, I'm just gonna phone this person and then just hang up for no reason. It's like, what's the point? You may as well just like... Okay, I think that guy's doing... Ooh. No, you're not getting me. I'm just gonna snap the guy's neck cause he's a twat. <laughs> So good. So I'm gonna do it like this, and I'm gonna let go of the stick for choke guy. There we go. See, that's how you do it. Cause I messed up the first time. So actually, I'm gonna use this right now just to. Cause there's a couple more rations around here. I might as well just wait. Oh yeah, I forgot about that stupid pipe in the way. So I'm gonna clip that. Cause you can only hold two at this point anyway. So who really cares? And I'm gonna just wait here for the guy arrives. Actually, is there a way to skip the credits? I can't, I can't remember. I'm just gonna let them play anyway, just so you can see them, I guess. Yeah. I think they're pretty much done anyway, so it's so like it really matters. Yeah, as you see. So as you can see, the third guy comes in the lift, and then we just have to. I'm just gonna wait for this guy to move out of the way so I can get out myself. See now this is a game that I don't completely suck at. <laughs> not, not the previous one. So we're gonna wait for him to move out of the way. So I think he moves down, yeah. Avoid the puddle, and there we go. And now we've got more cutscenes to skip. You know what's kind of funny is like like, literally the majority of this game is cutscenes. But, yeah, I mean, the story's really good anyway, so... It's all like it really matters. You know, if it's a game where I don't care for the story, then it would be annoying. And, yeah, again, we have to skip all the cutscenes. I'm just mashing the... I'm just mashing the X button, because I'm waiting for the cutscenes to come up. Actually, I was about to say, I think... Yeah, this is so you, I swear to God, you literally have to skip like half a dozen cutscenes at this point. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like half a dozen cutscenes in a row, and then you get to play it. And then we gotta skip that. Okay. Well, actually, you, you probably could get away with not skipping that because it's just, you know, it's just him walking and then like looking, cam thing. But yeah, I'm just gonna skip it anyway, just for sure. Okay, so we're done with that. 
and then we skip that. Okay, now let's... Actually, I was going to say, let's try to get the chaff grenades, so I don't think I really need them. So let's just go down here. Oops, look here. Oh, there's a gold there. It's kind of weird. Uh, ration I don't need. Yeah, let's equip that. I think this guy's... Yeah, he's going to walk down. Going to avoid him. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. So, yeah, let's... No, let's not run to the searchlights, because I don't want to get spotted. But let's just... Let's run... I'm going to run this way. Because... Yeah. So, I want to see if I can get the SOCOM at this point. So I know there's a guy down here, but... If I go in here... And get the SOCOM... Let's see. I'm going to equip that. I'm going to unequip it, because... Uh, maybe I'll use my bare hands. And then, I'm going to... No, let's go over here. Because I remember, like, the first time you see a security camera, he, like, stands there and says, A security camera? And I remember once or twice I got spotted because of that. Yeah, like, you see there, surveillance camera, that's it. So we got to go through here. Try to sneak this way. Oh! Oh, you bugger. You're... Pfft. I don't know what the hell I was doing there. And then, yeah. I didn't realize the guy was like right there, but go away with it. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't going as well as I hoped, but I'm died, so that's something at least. Uh, yeah, go this way. Then we got another cutscene that we gotta skip. See, I, I don't get. Oh, yeah, I don't get this because it says like you have to press select, but it just activates anyway, so it's like why even display that? It seems kind of pointless. Yeah, got that equipped, just in case. I mean, there is another SOCOM, or there's another place to get the SOCOM, but I figure I'd just get it from the truck, you know, just in case. And then we've got this bit, where we've got to skip another cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, skip all that. <laughs> I mean, like, I would show all the cutscenes, but like I said, like, all the content ID nonsense that you get with Metal Gear Solid, it's like, yeah. And I think the same thing came to Silent Hill, actually. I might, like, I could be wrong on that, and... No, I don't think I've got full health. I might grab the, the ration down here. Yo, know, just to be sure. Because you can never be too careful with, with video games. So we're going to go down here. Then we're going to get the ration. In fact, let's just use one right here. Yeah, you might say I'm being a bit too cautious. I don't care. Okay, I play the game the way I want to. So I'm not exactly a cautious person anyway. It's like I just run in and do whatever. <laughs> I mean, hell, if I was cautious, I probably wouldn't have got spied in the first place. But yeah, now we've got to go down here. Yeah. Pretty simple. I remember the secured camera down here that's kind of annoying to dodge. But yeah. Actually, I seem to remember, like, if you get the SOCOM from that, from that truck, and then you try to get the SOCOM here, it gives you something else, but I don't remember what it was. The stun grenades, or, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, I think it was the thermal goggles, actually, come to think of it. So we're gonna avoid getting spotted by that. Because I don't feel like getting spotted again. Okay, so, like that, yeah, thermal goggles, I'm not gonna need them. But, might as well just show them off here anyway. Move out of the way of the camera. Let's look at this. Look at these goggles. It's funny they can't spot me from here. But then again, I mean, the door side sucks anyway, as you may have noticed. With, like, how the radar works. That's like... That's why, I think that's why I'm able to get away with sneaking in this game. Is because the enemy's eyesight is just... Terrible. So we gotta wait for this camera, actually. Oof. Close there. So we gotta wait for that to move. Then we gotta stand under it until... Until I know for sure that the enemies there have moved out of the way. 
problem is it's, I can't really tell from here. You know, let's scrap that. So come bullets. It's oof. It got spotted right there. <laughs> and then we do this. Thankfully, the the enemies don't spot you if the lift is open for no reason. No mass anyway. Then we go down to B1. It's got. A, I remember in the fall game you could go down to B2 right away, but of course there's no point. So yeah. So now we gotta go down here. I don't know why I have the SOCOM equipped, but yeah. Yes, we're not gonna bother with the phone. Or the, <laughs> the phone. <laughs> yes, because I was answering the phone earlier. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the codec because it's just more cutscenes and I don't wanna get flagged for that. So now we gotta go through here. See, we can go left here, but there's no point. And I remember this is where the demo went when you rescue that guy. Um, I can't remember the. I can't remember the guy's name. It's drawing a blank right now. But I think anyone who's played this game knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, you go through here, you rescue him, and then he dies. I, don't, I mean, I'm not going to be don't take spoilers, but considering how early into the game this says it doesn't really matter, I don't think. But yeah, we go down here, and then we skip a bunch of cutscenes, and then that's like the entire demo, as you'll see. So yeah, you didn't really miss that much by me not playing this demo before. Yeah. So we skip all that, and that's it. To be continued. It's already called cool demo though, because you do get to do a fair bit in it. I mean, like if you really want to, you could just like shoot shoot down all the enemies with a SOCOM. And I think it resets, doesn't it? Let's see. Oh, yeah, it just resets. So let's just quit out of that. Cause it's, I'm not going to play it again. Even though, like, I wouldn't mind playing it again. Because it's a, it's a pretty awesome demo. But yeah. So now we've got Quake 2. Now, what's funny about this is that yeah, I was actually playing Quake 2 for the Nintendo 64 yesterday. And i got to be honest with you, like, that version, I would think is probably better than this. I mean, the PC version is obviously the best one, because, you know, it's got the best controls. But in terms of 64 version, I would have to say it's probably better. Because you got, like, full customizability with the controls. I mean, sure, the controller sucks. I mean, I don't care what anyone says. Like, in terms of 64 controller, I hate it. It's really... It's just... It, it's awkward. I don't know. I never liked it. I can never really get used to it. But I do like the controls for Quake 2 on in terms of 64. I mean, with this, you can't really you can't really customize the controls properly. I mean, they're not too bad, but it's, yeah. So I'm gonna say to, mm. yeah, I'd say to that. I don't really mind. For some reason, you can't assign it to like both analog controls, which is kind of weird. Because I remember you can in the full game, but you can't fully customize the controls like you can in the Nintendo 64 version, which is a bit lame. But yeah. But yeah, the controls here aren't too bad. It's just, you know, it's just the fact that you don't really have full customizability of them. Oh, shit, I forgot the controls already. It's going well. It's been well since I played this on PS1. And, yeah, it's got the... So the problem is there's no way to change... As far as I can tell, there's no way to change the controls when you're in the game. I mean, and that's another good thing about the Nintendo 64 version is you could do that. You can't do it in this one for some reason. I don't get why. It doesn't make any sense. It's like, like why can't I just change the controls in the middle of the game? Like any, <laughs> like any game. So yeah, okay. He didn't try shooting at me. That's the thing with this game. Sometimes you kill an enemy and they just shoot you immediately. Oh, oh. Okay, I've got the super shotgun out. Yeah, I know some people like. They like inverted controls. I personally, I can't stand inverted controls. It's like I just can't get used to them. No, you're not shooting me. Yeah. Oh. I see ya. Or at least I saw you, and then you like ran off. Okay, he seems to be running down there. So I promise, I don't think I have a machine gun at this point. So. So I know you get, I'm pretty sure you do get the machine gun in the demo, it's just I don't have it right now. The hell? <laughs> I was like bouncing off the... Okay, this is awkward right here. 
Oh, that didn't count. Yes, right there. Oh, no, they've gone. Ooh. Oh, come on. How did that not count as a hit? I don't care if it's a shotgun. It should still be able to... At least a bit of it should be able to hit him. I think he just shot his mate right there. Yeah. We just gotta be wary of them trying to shoot you like that. <laughs> I was up there jumps in. <laughs> yeah. It seems odd that they include this game on so many demos though, because I remember this was on Demo 95, it was on... I think it was on Demo 76, if I recall. I don't really know why, because I mean, honestly, I'd have to say that... I think Doom was better on PS1. Like, maybe that's just... I mean, it's just my opinion, but... I don't know. I wouldn't say this is one of my favourites or anything. Like, it's alright. Okay, I'm, I've got the gun facing too high. So I need the machine going out right here. Because I know there's a guy on the ledge up here. And he tries to shoot you. At least, I thought there was. Yeah. Let's shoot that guy. Get me out of the way. Yeah. How many hits does this guy take? Okay, he's dead. Yeah, because I remember that playing this before. So let's get that. And I do want to get that armor. At least I can get far enough to get the armor, but we'll see about that. Uh, okay, he's not going to shoot. Um, get the machine gun right here. Yeah. <laughs> I just give them right there. That was pretty awesome. And again, let's get that. Even though I'm probably not going to use it, but that's what I'll get anyway. See, I do like how gory this game is at times, so... Well, relatively gory. Uh, oh, bugger. No. Nope. Oh, fuck. Why did that keep missing him? Like, because I, like, I was shooting him, like, point blank range, and he kept missing for some reason. Do I literally have to have the crosshair be on him to, like, count as a hit? Because I don't think that's how shotguns work. I'm just saying. The human super shotguns. So I think there's an, no, there's no guys down here. But you know what? I'm going to try to get that armor. Yeah. So there we go. Jacket armor. It's kind of funny how they like write it in like... <laughs> this spell would be you. Which is weird. Because I mean this game is only by id. And last time I checked it was American. So yeah. Not that I'm complaining, it's just kind of weird. But anyway, let's go down here. Uh, no, there's no way to center the crosshair in this. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why I was expecting to be able to do that, but still. Yeah. You're not going to shoot me like that. I, I, know that. I know you can blast some of these walls open. What the hell? It feels like the enemies are like all like above my head or something. It feels weird. Oh no, I remember this. I remember this bit is annoying. Oh wait, no. That went down better than <laughs> that went down better than I was expecting actually. Just go for the regular shotgun because it hits him better. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting the regular shotgun out. I think it's just, I have an easier time hitting the enemies over a lot of time. Okay. Super shotgun and a skill that. And I know there's a couple of enemies in here. Yeah, and there's one down, I think. Okay, I, th I think you just killed his teammate right there. Well, I say teammate. Okay, I think they're dead. Yep, they seem to be dead. So now I've got to activate something. It just does it by its own, which is... It was kind of weird that this game does that. But yeah, use blue key card to enter alien base installation. And I'm sure there's a couple of secrets down here. I just don't quite... I just don't remember the exact locations of them. I think... I think there might have been one... What does this do? Oh, okay, it doesn't do anything. Let's, let's try this, actually. I know there's a couple of secrets in these corridor areas. Yeah, okay, so this is one. 
Okay, and die! There we go. So what's in here? Health. I'm sure there's one or two other secrets that I just don't remember where they are, but, yeah. So it's like, it's the one, no, I don't think there was one there. And, actually, let's, let's just try it, because I've got a few, I've got a few rocket launcher, let's do that. No, it doesn't do anything. So let's get a super shotgun out. I don't know why the hell I'm going this way, but, oh, yeah, I remember why now. No, I hate this bit. These enemies are annoying. They just like shoot you. I mean, look at this. It's just a good thing I've got plenty of health left, otherwise, I'd be buggered at this point. Uh, no, I haven't I got the blue key? I thought I did, but I guess not. Let's collect all that. What the hell's the. Oh! <laughs> I, I get the feeling that I've like, walked past it when I was in that other room. So let's go back there. And I'll just spit all over my screen, that's brilliant. Well, okay, it was tiny. It was tiny me up, but still. Actually, isn't there another secret in that secret? I, mean, I don't know if you've really came to the secret, but still. Maybe the film... No, I don't think there was. Because I remember there being some like that, but... I don't think it's here. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Of course, I completely walked right past it like an idiot, but there we go. Yeah, it feels weird playing this with the right analog stick and the D-pad, but... I don't know, it works well enough. I can get somewhere with this. Yeah, honestly, I think the Nintendo 64 version, like... It probably would have been really good if the controller itself was better. Because, I mean, I've said before, I don't like the Nintendo 64 controller, I just think it's... Awkward to use. Never liked it. I mean, I, I kind of liked it back when I was a kid, but it's like using it now, it hasn't really aged well, you know. Let's wait for that guy. Okay, he's not going to fire anything. Oh, you bugger. Can I beat this level at least? It doesn't help you got like. I, I probably should have got the machine gun out here actually, but yeah, it doesn't help me. You got like five enemies shooting you once, and in fact, machine gun. So I gotta film this an enemy up here. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's annoying. Great. Uh this is going really well. I mean I've got I mean I've at least got a decent amount of level, but still. I remember I didn't get I don't think I even got the spa last time. Oh, is that it? I think that's it. And, yeah, I remember you can't actually skip this. It takes, like, half a minute at least. So, you know what? I'll be right back. Okay, so after about half a minute, I finally quit. Yeah, that's green. I don't get why you can't just, like, press select or something to quit out of it, but whatever. Anyway, time for Tekken 2. Yeah, that cutaway was pretty pointless, but I couldn't think of anything to say there. But yeah, Tekken 2, awesome game. <laughs> and yes, it seems kind of weird they include this over Tekken 3, though. I mean, although to be fair, I mean, Tekken 3 was on Demo 95, so... Okay, and apparently the controls aren't working. I, I want to skip this, and it's not letting me... Okay, there we go. I don't feel like watching it, because... Uh, I mean, I'm sure I've shown it before in one of the other videos. But now we've got Lei. I mean, I could play as June, I just don't feel like it. <laughs> So we got to play against King. And King would be cool to play as, even though I, I suck at playing as him, but yeah. Oh, okay, I messed that up. What's this? Oh, that missed? What the hell? That was BS right there. Oh, I don't like being on the right, it always feels kind of weird. There we go. Did that. Just spin kick him. And there we go. I want to try to see if I can pull off that, like, that other move that I was trying to do where it's like, you know, you, you like, go into crane pose, and then it's like... Oh. Oh, you bugger. Oh. Let's 
extra. It took off like half my health right there. If I lose because of that, then that's going to be bullshit. Yeah. See, that's the thing about playing as King is like, like he's really good at like grabs, but it's like I was stuck doing them, so. I don't really bother playing as King because, like, King's a cool character, it's just I suck at playing as him. But yeah. Oh, you bugger. No, stop doing that, you. Okay, I'm not losing. Okay, I'm not losing to the demo. See, look at this. I try to pull off the special moves in this, and he, he was like, managed to evade them. Yeah. So you get. Here's <laughs> where you get, bitch. So you get for evading my special moves, you just get a bunch of kicks in the face. But there we go. Yeah. Well, I wasn't going to lose on the demo, was I? But there we go. That's second two. And let's just quit out of that. Because there's not much more to it. I mean, I could play as June. I just can't be bothered. But now we got... What was it? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, I think. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I suck at the first two games. Like, I've tried to play these recently. And it's like... For some reason, I just, I can't play them very well. Like, because the first game, it's like, the controls are kind of, I don't know, they just feel kind of weird compared to the later games. It's like, the second one, like, I never played the second one as a kid. It's just like, because as a kid, I played, like, I remember playing the first one on the Dreamcast. And then I ended up skipping the second game entirely, and then playing the third one on PS1. Because I didn't want to wait to get a PS2, and then, like, get the PS2 version. I mean, the PS1 version is really good anyway, so it's not too, <laughs> it wasn't too much of a loss. Besides, I've got the PS2 version of Pro Skater 3 anyway, so at least nowadays I do. I mean, I kind of want to get the PS1 version again, because I remember the PS1 version being really good. But yeah, big score competition. Someone tells me we're not going to be able to enter this anymore, and not just because I, not just because I suck at this game compared to the third one. Oh, I couldn't do the manual there. Okay. Oof, there we go. Okay. Let's see if I can get a combo off here, actually. So there we go, I managed to get <laughs> a halfway decent combo off at least. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to replace the music, and that sucks. But, yeah, what are you going to do? Oof. Actually, how do you do that special move? I can't remember. Is it like... I think it's like down, right, and square, I think. Or... I'm not sure. I, I know it was like that in the first game. I just... I think they might have changed it, though. Okay, and it <laughs> went to go in the manual there, but it didn't actually do it. That was kind of weird. Oh! Okay. But I gotta say, like, some people say the second game is the best one. Personally, I think the third one was when they really made it, like... I think the third one was when they perfected this, yeah. And then the fourth game was... You know, it's like, it was, like, very different to the previous ones. But yeah, the fourth one was really good, too. I like the fourth one. Well, I'm not... I mean, I couldn't say it's better than the third one, but still. Oh, you bugger. There's a problem growing on this problem trying to grow in this level, it's like everything is like at a curve. Oh. And I just find it's a lot harder to pull off the manual on this compared to the third game. Or in fact any of the games after the second one. Okay. And I don't remember how to do the special move in this, because I think they changed it. And I messed up because I couldn't get the jump. But there we go, I got a passcode, and... I mean, I would lose anyway, because... I mean, you see, I didn't even beat the high score. But yeah, we're done with that. And... Is it gonna load... Okay, here we go. <laughs> I was worried that the game crashed there for a second. But there we go. And... We're nearly done with this. But now we've got... Team Raider. Now, I'm hoping this is different to the other demo, because I remember... I played this on your demo 95, and it was that demo that was like, it was like timed, like you play it for like five minutes, and they like times out. And I remember there was another one where it didn't time out, as far as I know. 
So I'm hoping it's that. Because that'd be cool. Because I do like this game. And is this not working? I'm pressing the stop button. It's not doing anything. I think the game crashed. So actually, let me try plugging the... Oh, okay. For some reason, I have the control switch. The analog switch on, even though I switched it off. I think it just turned on automatically for Pro Skater 2. Which is weird, because... The thing about, like, Tony Hawk is... For some reason, I always like to play the game with the D-pad. I don't know why, I'm just... I'm, I'm just used to it that way. Uh, no, this is the same demo as the other one. Shoot. Like, I don't get, like, why they couldn't include the other demo. Like, was it bigger than the other one? That's why they didn't want to include it? I don't know. I mean, maybe. I think the other one had music, actually, so that may be why. But I don't think I'm going to be able to beat this because I don't think they give you enough time to finish it. Or maybe they do and I'm just... crap. <laughs> I don't know. So let's shoot this bugger. Okay, we're done with that. So I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can. Because I want to see how far I can get before it times out. Because I don't think you get enough time to actually beat the level. But I just want to see if I can... At least, like... At least get to that other bit with the water. Because I remember this is like level 2, I think. Okay, here we go. So we climb up there. And then we do this. Yeah, you can tell I've played this before. Okay. And then there's a bat up here, I think. Maybe multiple bats, I don't know. It's, you know, it's been a little while since I played this, so. But what the hell? No! The, the, the bat was, like, flying directly above my head, so I couldn't shoot it. It's BS right there. It's like the bat is trying to force me to, like, time out before I can actually get anywhere. Because it's a idiot. Yeah. So this is the problem with the AI decides to be a dick. No, get out of my way. Okay, I'm trying to, like, platform here. I only need your... Flappy ass trying to get him away. Flappy ass. That's it. That sounds like a really awful like STI or something. But yeah. But let's try to do this properly this time and not get distracted by idiotic bats trying to get him away. Yeah. Well, I'm not even gonna like. <laughs> I'm probably not even gonna make it. Oh, what, the, what the fuck? Okay, I was I was like mashing square there. What the hell? I'm going to search on it as much as I like Tomb Raider, the controls really have not aged well. It, like, that's the problem with these games. It's like, you know, it's like you compare it to, like, Crash Bandicoot, which came out around the same time. It's like Crash Bandicoot's controls. Like, they've actually, like, they've stood the test of time really well, but this, not so much. It's like, it just, it, oh no, it's like the movements feel, like, not the movements, but it's just like, the way you have to control the game, it feels very robotic, you know. It's like you have to do a thing in like a certain way, otherwise the game just doesn't do it. And that's really the problem with this game. Like, as much as I like this game, I really couldn't say it's one of my favourite PS1 games of all time. It's just, like, it's a good game, but there's definitely much better platformers out there. Or at least, you know, ones that control way better anyway. I don't remember if there's any bats up here, so, yeah. I'm not going to get very far in this because I kept messing up, and that sucks. Yeah, eat that. No, uh, oh yeah, that's right, it's the, <laughs> it's the X button. Okay. I'm not even gonna bother getting health. I know in the full game there's like a save point here, but I'm not gonna bother with it, so. Okay. So, oh, yeah, that's right, now we gotta go through here. Yeah. But I don't know, I mean, Tomb Raider, I mean, like, I have the first four games, I don't have any of the other ones. I mean, I, I remember I played a demo for Tomb Raider Legend, which was quite good from what I remember. Like, at least it, you know, it controls better than the PS1 games anyway. Because I know that, like, after the fifth game, they end up making The Angel of Darkness, which I've never played, but I heard it was really terrible. And it was just, yeah. Everyone hated it. But I do wonder if... I, like, I should probably get um, Tomb Raider Anniversary one these days. Because I know that's... It's like a remake of the of the first... Oh, what the hell? The 
camera like messed up on me right there. It's like, oh, I'm just going to like turn for no reason. There's nothing. No, I want to, I want to move. Okay. Yeah. And like, the, really the controls are why I can't really say it's my favorite platform. It's like, you know, you compare this, I mean, although to be fair, I mean, this game is from like 1996, so you can't really expect perfection controls wise. Okay, I don't know how you're supposed to get through there without taking damage, but whatever. I mean, there's a platform, I guess, but yeah. So, at least we got to this bit. And I remember there's a bunch of traps you got to avoid. Yeah. So we do that. We get past that. Oh. Yeah, okay. Activate this one. I think I got further than I did last time, so I think around this point is where it timed out. So we've got to go through here. Yeah, they'll give you plenty of time to... Oh. <laughs> okay, I've forgotten where I was supposed to go. Great. Do you suppose to go through here? But yeah, they give you plenty of time to get through this bit. But I remember there's a spot early in the level where you can't do that as much. So yeah, I'm gonna do this just because it's quicker. Although it's kind of funny how, like, on Euro 95 they include the first three Team Raider games, and yet this one only include the first one. And honestly, I'd have to say the first one is probably my favorite. I don't know. I never really liked the sequels as much. Like, maybe it's just because level design, or maybe it's just because. Yeah, and it timed out. Or maybe it's just because they didn't really do anything to improve over the original game, so from like adding vehicles, I guess. I mean, that was about it. But yeah, we're done with your demo 100, and it's a, pretty, it's a pretty good demo, but it's kind of, at the same time, like I said, it's kind of pointless, because a lot of these games on your demo, uh, your demo 95, I mean, like the Driver Games on there, Gran Turismo, ISS, Metal Gear Solid, Quake 2. And Team Raider, all of these won Demo 95, so it's like, there wasn't even any point to making this disc. Or, you know, if they were going to make it, they should have at least replaced some of the games. But yeah, I mean, Ape Escape's really good. The Dance Stage video, I have no idea when they include this, because it's just the exact same video that appeared on one of the earlier demos. Downloader, yes, Downloader. Uh, Driver's good, Driver 2's alright, even, even though I haven't really gone into it. Grand Turismo's awesome, ISS... I personally hate the game, but a lot of people probably like this one, so, yeah. Metal Gear Solid, well, that game's obviously awesome. Quake 2 is really good. Tekken 2 is awesome. Pro Skater 2 is really good, even though I suck at it. And Team Raider is really good. So, yeah, I will see you later, people. See you.